Welcome back to the Shire Shed. I'm Sonny and uh, you're the audience. And you are probably here because you saw the thumbnail for the review that we're going to be doing today. And today's review is HH Pure Virginia from McBaron. And you guys have heard me speak of McBaron blends and how they tend to bite the ever-loving shit out of me, but with the HH blends, they don't really do that. Which leads me to believe that it's just the topping that McBaron chooses to put on their tobacco, so whatever. This blend is one of my favorites. This is definitely not going to be a first impression. This is going to be a review. And I've wanted to do this one for a while, but I wanted to wait until this particular tin that I jarred got a good amount of age on it. So keeping that in mind, this is not going to be a review of a freshly opened tin. Uh, I did not write the date down, however, I do know that I jarred this in 2020. So this has at least four years of age on it and may have more, but I don't remember when it was tinned from the blender. So this, I would say realistically, probably has closer to five, maybe five and a half years of age on it. And this isn't the pre-aged stuff that they released, you know, this past year. This is home aged. So, uh, I can tell you that the smell in the jar of this one is, it smells so good. And, uh, I have several more jars of this, um, uh, that are aging. This is kind of the one that I dip into every great once in a while. So you can see that's pretty dark stuff. And it's, I mean, it's, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Come on, focus. Well, anyway, you get, you get the, uh, you get the message. It's, it's dark. So I've kind of been on and off whether I wanted to do a, a Virginia review because I haven't done a review on a Virginia tobacco for, for quite some time. And the biggest reason is I just haven't felt like having Virginia's. I think I mentioned that a couple videos back. I just haven't been in the Virginia mood uh, like I usually am in the summer, which it, it happens. You know, I've more been in the mood for stuff that I can just throw in the bowl light and not have to worry about, oh, you got to sip it and you got, no, I just want to light it and go do shit in the yard. I don't want to have to worry about, oh, I'm puffing too hard or, or whatever. If I want to throw Rustica in the pipe and go work out in the yard, I can chooch on that shit all day. The worst thing I have to worry about is relighting it every once in a while, more often than other blends, but still. If I want to throw Haunted Bookshop in the bowl, go out and work in the yard, I don't have to worry about that biting me. I don't have to worry about sipping it. You get what I'm saying here. Virginias are great, but they do not lend themselves to being busy person friendly, which is the whole point, right? We're in this to relax and stop for a minute in our busy days, but some sometimes you just don't have that luxury. Well, today I am making time. I am not going to be working out in the yard today. I slept in a little later than I had planned. I would have been mowing the yard several hours ago, but I was sleeping, so fuck it. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Uh... So, here we are with some aged McBaron HH Pure Virginia. 
I have this bowl ready to go in what is this the Tom Sawyer hook fin I don't fucking know whichever one this one is that I modified this is my Virginia pipe so let's get into it very very good stuff For the longest time, this was my my favorite straight Virginia. It is not that anymore. Not because it's bad, because I found something I like a little bit better. Now... I still don't believe that I'm in the Virginia mood, but this is good. It, uh, I mean, it's, it's very good. It, very little, if any bite, uh, It's very well behaved. It smells wonderful. Very mellow. Uh, very light. There's nothing... Nothing really crazy about this one. It's... Um, it's got some nice tanginess and a little bit of tartness, a little bit of earthiness. It's very, very good. Uh, just as a disclaimer, over the course of the next several weeks, I am uh, I'm going to be focusing on doing some more Virginia reviews, uh, primarily because Virginia season is going to be coming to a close here very shortly. At least how I look at it. It. Um, I've kind of been smoking whatever the last couple months. Um, normally, I would consider Rustica like more of a winter blend, but honestly, Rustica you can smoke any time. It kind of crosses the aisles as far as summer blend, winter blend goes. Whereas Old Dark Fired and Old Kentucky, I, I feel like those are much, much more, you know, fall, winter blends. I don't know. It's probably a mental thing with me. Most likely all in my head. But that's how I roll around this bitch. So let's uh, let's see what Tobacco Review says about this one. McBaron HH Pure Virginia, a blend composed of both air dried and flu cured, flu cured Virginia tobaccos. HH Pure Virginia is 100% Virginia tobaccos from North America and Africa. Both continents have a high reputation for growing the finest Virginia tobaccos in the world. Like all tobaccos in the HH family, this blend has no top flavor and only the absolute necessary casing in order to emphasize the natural tobacco taste. You will experience the natural sweetness and grassy taste from the Virginia tobacco.
Uh, brand is McBaron, blended by Per Jansen, manufactured by McBaron, it's a straight Virginia. Uh, it is a flake, as you saw. Uh, it comes in a 50 gram tin. It also comes in uh, the smaller, smaller tin. Uh, country of origin is Denmark, and it is currently available. Strength is medium, maybe. It says medium on here, but I don't know if I buy that. Uh, flavoring, none detected. Room note, I would say this is, this is probably going to bother people that aren't really a fan of um, tobacco smoke that isn't a aromatic. And the taste is medium. Uh, it has 43 four stars, 34 three stars, seven two stars, and two one stars. Uh, of course, Jim Inks reviewed it with all of his eloquence. I mean, just, just a fantastic Virginia. It's, uh, it's not one of those things that you can, that you're going to have to go out and search for. It's fairly readily available pretty much anywhere. I would say your average B&M is going to have it in stock fairly regularly. Uh, it's on stock, on stock. It's in stock pretty regularly at, uh, smoking pipes, tobacco pipes, Pipes and cigars, you know, all your all your standard online retailers are going to have it pretty much all of the time. And really, it is it is just just a fantastic blend. Um, even now, despite the fact that I am not particularly in the mood for Virginia, Virginia, this this is doing it for me it uh it's just good honestly it's it's simple slightly complex but not by a whole lot it's um it's just a good one uh, comparatively, I would put this up with like, oh, Presbyterian ordained, something along those lines. This would be a good one to sit out on the back or front porch at, you know, right after the sun goes down and light up. So overall, just a, just a wonderful blend and one that I've really been looking forward to reviewing for the last couple of years. Um, it really is a good one. I would say it's underrated, but I feel like people that know about this one, they probably go to it pretty often. All in all, out of 10, I'd give this one a solid, solid eight, maybe eight and a half.
fantastic plane. I think that's going to do it for today. I was going to go into a little bit of story time, but I think I'll save that for next weekend and the video that will come out next weekend. So with that, if you like Virginia's, you cannot go wrong with this blend. It's, it's quite, quite good. So I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Hope you all have a wonderful work week coming up and uh, just be safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. But if you do, don't get caught. I'll see you guys next time.